<laughs> hey, it's a bit of a mechanic. Check it out. Today, we're gonna work on hydraulics. The interesting and exciting world of hydraulics. I made some videos before, at least one video on how to repack hydraulic cylinders. And so, today my backhoe, one of my cylinders is really leaking pretty good out of the front bucket. So I'm gonna show you guys how to repack it. And this time, I won't let them do it. I'll show you how to actually stack the little V seals and I'll show you everything you need to know. It's gonna be magical. Let's take a look. Well, here we are. I just fired that thing up because uh, it's cold and uh, it's not cold outside, but the machine is cold. So you can still, she's still hazing a bit. You can see the awesomeness that is this machine. She's old, but she runs good. I put a new motor in her. Now this cylinder right here is pouring fluid out. Let me demonstrate. Uh, there's not even any hydraulic in it. But you can see there's shit running all down it. And as you build more pressure in it, it'll just start pouring out faster and faster. And basically, hydraulic fluid's expensive. So expensive hydraulic fluid's no good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna yank it out now. I'm gonna pull it inside the shop. I'm gonna show you guys how to yank it off. They're all about the same. And then I'm gonna show you how to take it apart. Sweet, continue watching. Hey, <laughs> so I moved the machine inside because it's sunny and the sun is bad for your skin. So here we are, I'm just thinking about how I'm gonna do this shit, and uh, honestly, um, what I'm gonna do is not even remove this from the machine. Because like, this fitting right here is welded to the cylinder. And as you can see, these hoses got plenty of play. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this pin free, slide it out, I'm gonna slide this whole cylinder down a little way so I can get a pipe wrench on it and take the set screw, which is this right here, and take this cap, which is the uh, my mind is blank. It's the gland cap basically. It just threads in and it's got the dust wiper and the, your seal in there. So I'm going to slide it down, put my pipe wrench on it, break it free, spin it completely out, and slide the whole rod out hopefully in this area. So, here we go. It's Bo with Johnny. Look who's here. My special friend Johnny Elliott. Hello. Look what we got. So I took it apart like I told you guys. I took that stuff off, set it down. You unthread it with a huge pipe wrench. I took that set screw free, you take a huge pipe wrench and you just unthread it and it sucks. And that's the easy part and the hard part is getting it out. So I just hooked a come along to it and you come along the rod. Next part that's really fun is over here. Lucky for me, I have pretty big impacts. So you might want to have to buy one of these or you can just try whatever you want. So basically here's the rod when it comes out, it looks like this. This is your gland. This is the part that you've been, you can tell I've been prying on it with a pipe wrench. See, this goes on there like this. And so this is, inside there is the poly pack and that's what's got your, it does all your wiping. Right there, that black thing is a bushing and in here towards my finger is the poly pack, the V-band. And then this part on the top of the gland is just a wiper seal. So you got that. This is, you wanna bring this with you to the seal store. And this, and these are just V grooves. So as I said, that one on the shaft, and this will be threaded on the end of it. And this is what grabs all your fluid. Fluid either goes into the top towards my finger or the bottom towards my thumb, and it pushes one way up or down, just whichever way the fluid kicks in. So as you can see, you take this out, and if you're having weak cylinders, it's because of this. What happens is these seals go bad, get dry rotted, they just, they just kind of harden up. They don't really dry rot, but they get hard. And so you have a bunch of these. So there's like eight of these V seals. And there's a couple different types, but this is this is an old type of uh, of seal of gland seal. So I'm gonna bring both of these. I'm gonna get eight new seals for here. I'm gonna get the new poly pack for inside here, and hopefully they'll have a wiper wiper ring. But sometimes they don't. Maybe a new bushing too to center the rod. But the rod's okay. It's got a couple little dings right here, which I'm gonna try and mess with but that's not going to be the biggest issue the biggest issue is it's from 1969 1970 so there you go 